Fjord. 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 Chris. Chris. Hey. Where are we going? Uh, we're going to... On an adventure. You can stop the recording there. We're on our way to Tashlak, Greenland. Uh, we're in Iceland right now. We're gonna catch a flight in, I don't know, an hour, two hours. And then we're gonna enter a giant snowstorm, apparently. Let's see how this goes. This seems to be the Reykjavik airport. So much in the middle of the city, you, I didn't even notice it was an airport. It looks like a... So you guys know what you're doing, you have the right equipment. This is the crew, there's 10 of us in total. Me, how Andre. Alright, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not really the moves, you know? <laughs> and then two more over here. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's getting in their cell phone binge before we get to Greenland. I hope the weather is gonna be good. Apparently, the forecast is not too positive. So. Well, I would be excited to see the Inuits, like a village, mm -hmm. meet some interesting people, see how they live in a secluded place. I'm excited to make a snowman. You ready for this, Chris? I hope I am. We got this. Look at how tiny our plane is, Chris. It's so small. We're barely gonna fit in there. No, cute. Like this man. That's the whole plane. We just landed at Kusuluk Airport and we're going to take a helicopter to Tasilik. I don't know how to pronounce these names. It's so nice. <laughs> Tiny tequila over there. Cumute. We flew in to Kusuluk Kirch yeah. and we're going to Tashira, which is here. Yeah, in the bay, I'll say. You have yours? <laughs> We arrived in Tashlak, which feels like a success because we weren't even sure if we'd make it to Greenland today. And not only did we make it, we made it to our the town that's a helicopter ride away from the airport. So we're gonna celebrate with some champagne. Also, it's um that's the real reason for this champagne. Cheers. 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 I like this guy on this advertisement. Oh, came out onto the lake in the middle of this town and there's ice fishing. This looks so beautiful. That's a wild kasha appearing. You can sometimes see them 
in the snow fields. <laughs> Gotta be careful about those because they can burn you with a joke. Let's quickly explain what we're doing here. We're mainly in Greenland because we're recording videos for Chris's channel. So if you want a more complete view of our experience, uh, you can check out your channel. Urodziłem się w Krakowie i przeżyłem tam prawie całe swoje życie. Nigdy nie miałem specjalnej ochoty się wyprowadzić. Nigdy też nie myślałem, że jestem podróżnikiem, bo podobało mi się bardziej uciekanie w światy wirtualne. Bardzo lubiłem gry wideo, lubiłem czytać książki, lubiłem fikcję. Um, but yeah, we came via from Tokyo to Warsaw. Warsaw we had a layover in Copenhagen, then in Iceland, and now we're finally here. Um, I'm going to be recording a decent amount through this trip. Uh, don't hold me responsible for... Sure. I'm just going to be having fun with this. Chris is going to be going hardcore with the filming. Yeah. We're here for an eight-day trip. Um, the first two days we're chilling in this town. And then we're heading off on a real adventure. <laughs> and after this we're going to Iceland. So. We hiked up this hill mountain thing so we can stand at the edge of the fjord and the ocean's right there and fjord is going to be my favorite word on this trip. Fjord. <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> Easiest way to get down this hill is on your butt. <laughs> There's my butt trail, right down the middle. Oh, Chris is taking my butt trail. Go, Chris, go, Chris, go! Go, Chris, go, Chris, go! Okay. What the heck? Ugh. Come on. Chris's hidden talent, he's the master butt sledder. He's so much faster than me. Okay. He can kick my butt at it. Chest. Why are you, what are you doing? I don't understand why it doesn't work for me. Like it Came back from our little adventure to a home cooked meal and everything here looks so bomb diggity. I'm excited. Oh, so much meat. Our chef today has cooked for the Queen of Denmark before, so basically it's up to my standards at least. Dinner was Check it, check out my camera, it's so cool. Come on, check it out with your snow. Oh, oh yeah. Day two in... Tashilak? Day two in Tashilak. Tashilak? Cannot remember how to say that. It's snowing out and we didn't bring winterproof gear for the cameras. Testing the plastic bag right now. What? Looking at myself in your glasses. Pretty snowy, eh? Yeah. Everything's white. The sky's the same color as the ground. Confusing. Okay. Wow, it's impossible to tell where the ground ends and the sky starts. It's just white. It's a glitch in the video game. There's a wall in here. You can't see that. Wait, hold on. Let me show you with my controllers left. Things you can see, here is a mountain. Things you can't see, here is a lake. So we walked We walked already 11 kilometers and all of it looks like this so far. Uh, it's a bit boring. Uh, it's refreshing. It's mentally, it's like mentally flossing my mind. It's uh, zen, it's meditation. Those of you who are into uh, filming or photography might notice that the light Maybe. conditions here are very cool. And this is because we're so up high north on the planet that, and, and this combined with the time of year we're in, sun is very low. So it's like permanent sunrise sundown. Very cool. I keep recording my reflection in your glasses because it's like the only thing I can see. Tea break, but it's a little too hot, so we're gonna... That's how you make iced tea, originally. It was invented in the Arctic. 
practical people, you know, it's, we can try to go around the lake, yeah. Uh, you don't realize how warm a minus three is when there's no wind chill or, or I mean, there's really not. And you have so many layers of clothes. Yeah. yeah. We, we prepared for hardcore conditions and it's not that bad. It's, it's mm. I guess when we're on the dog sled and not moving, we're going to eat it all. Um, but if there's like no wind and you're walking, pretty damn warm. Yeah. It's also a lot of taking off and putting on layers because your body keeps like changing body temperature. Or your body keeps adjusting to the temperature. And every time you stop for a little bit, you cool down a lot. You'll probably have noticed by now that one of us has a rifle in our group and it's not because we just want to look like some cool ass explorers. Don't think we're out here killing things. It's just to protect us and scare off any possible threats. And we're back in the village. Doggies. Hello doggies, did you guys miss us? No, all right. As life would have it, we're doing about a 14 kilometer walk and the sun decided to come out and be all nice at 13 and a half. So um, there's 13 and a half kilometer walk in pretty white out weather. <laughs> and then every time I walk back into this town, I think this is the cutest town ever. It's just so cute and colorful. I love it. You ready for lunch? Oh my god. <gasps> We're in a museum. We're in the town museum. It's an Inuit museum. And here is a waterproof and windproof jacket made of seal intestine. This kayak is intense. It has this uh, protector thing to prevent water from going in. Would you go kayaking in that outfit? It looks, it's pretty hip. Like the mittens and the ba 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 ba. Narwhal, polar bear, walrus. This guy's got some good crotch going on. And you gotta go pee and a polar bear's in your way. made it to the supermarket where basically everything looks the same as any European supermarket plus rifles and guns because it's a necessity here. Everything looks so pretty here. From one side I want to film everything and from the other I just want to be selfish and take it in for myself. Our last dinner before we're out in the Greenland wild. It smells nice. Smell it. Smell it guys. Mmm. Uh, Show us how, how tasty it is. Mm. We're leaving, what's this town called? Tashilak? Tashilak. <laughs> we're leaving Tashilak tomorrow, so we were just briefed on the journey we're going on. Dog sledding tomorrow, after tomorrow, snowshoes is what they're called. Then the day after, we'll be sitting in an Inuit town and two more days of dog sledding, and then we're coming back. We're gonna be stinky for five days. Not excited for being stinky, but excited for everything else. Do a trick. <laughs>